Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here. Welcome to a discussion on builds. Yes, our builds are coming to an end. Survival Ghoul, you've been wonderful. So let's talk about the new ones. Now, a reminder on how this works. You guys submit builds to the subreddit. I look through them. I look at the votes. I look at how detailed the build is. And if I think it's going to work well, gather the ones that I like best and that have the highest votes kind of combo. Move them here. We talk about them. And then, bing, we vote on them. So let's talk about a couple things prior to that, though, that are important. First thing is that Nuka World is coming out in August, and so all three of the builds I've selected all potentially can become evil. That's important because Nuka World has allowing us to be evil for the first time in the Fallout 4 kind of game. So, with that bit, I want these builds to be able to switch, or at least to dance along the lines of it. Second thing is that I would like to try to make whatever build we choose a Gen 2 synth, like Nick Valentine, or Dima even. So. Well, whether that will affect the gameplay or whatnot, I'm not sure. I haven't actually done the experiments with it yet, but it would be cool to do that. And I'll somehow incorporate that into the character, or it's whatever, it'll just be a Gen 2 synth and it'll be fun. Still, it's something that I wanted to include it and mention to y'all. Alright, so now we're going to do the builds next. The first one is Cricket or Sugar Bombed Build, as it's described in the subreddit, which this is a character that's all about automatic weapons and explosions, running around the battlefield and shooting people that way. A very high energy individual. I'm saying she's going to be sarcastic as much as possible, assuming that it doesn't get in the way of our goals. The goals of the Cricket Sugar Bombed build are to get some cool badass weapons, but most importantly, to see explosions. That means blowing up synths, because the synths blow up cool. Blowing up robots, because robots blow up cool. Blowing up people in power armor, because if you hit that fusion core in the back, that's her focus and that's her play. Now this is also someone who might do some railroad stuff, because there's a lot of explosions when you join the railroad. And this is a character who, when going to Far Harbor, would blow up the children of Adam. That's her focus, and that's what she likes to do, is finding these massive explosions. Now, she's not necessarily good or evil, she's just very much about, let's see the booms, and that's her kind of thing. So when Nuka World comes around, we'll see what kind of person she becomes. Second build, this is someone I'm kind of fondly calling the Zenyatta build, which is a character from Overwatch. And this is a person who has heavy weapons, and they're going to use miniguns, rocket launchers, Fat man's sounds weird when said like that. And this person will be using these big weapons and collecting them. Similar to how the ghoul collected fusion cores, she's going to collect heavy weapons. We're going to put them up on racks so everybody can look at them and they will be our awesome things that we've won. We carry them back and put them up on places. Now, this character is also going to be pounding the shit out of things with her fists because when you just do heavy weapons, I actually don't know how available ammo is or how heavy it will be because. A 12 pound mini nuke is insane. So maybe we won't be carrying a lot of them, but we'll be punching the crap out of things or bashing things with our guns. So that's the character's kind of mix. Side thing with the character, she cannot change clothing to improve charisma. So that means if we're gonna go talk to somebody and we put on a dress, that's not allowed. We have to be in a battle dress. It had to have been our normal clothing. There is no changing or she's naked, as according to the subreddit that was included. So. That will mean that she's always going to get in violent situations. And so that's going to be something kind of entertaining where it's like, uh, well, you didn't win that charisma check, so we're going to fight. So there will always be some sort of violent outcome with her. And I think that will be kind of an interesting way to deal with stuff. Finally, we have the Minuteman General build. This one has the potential to turn complete evil because I read that in Nuka World, you can take a bunch of raiders and have them sack the Commonwealth. So can you imagine building up the Commonwealth, Sanctuary, Finch Farm, lots of settlements that are well defended and wonderful places to live, destroyed. We build them up and then we crush them. And that just sounds kind of fun as this kind of flipped character. So the actual build of the character will be using the crank rifle. And then there will also be using melee weapons because I think a general with a sword is a very dramatic looking thing. So instead of not like a baseball bat, unless it's hilarious baseball bat, but like a sword slicing around and then crank, 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 pew, I think that's a cool mix of character stuff. So those are the three builds that we have right now. Remember we got cricket build, fast, hyperactive, sarcastic character, shoots a bunch of people with explosions, trying to make things go boom as her main course. Zenyatta character, heavy weapons, punching people, collecting big weapons, cannot change out of sexy armor clothes. Zero clothes would be the other thing. Yep, that was the other rule. Anyway, and then finally we have the Minuteman build. This is the individual who is going to be building things up and then crushing them later. Those are our three builds. Remember to vote a 
Got it. Got it. <laughs> Vote right there. And thank you, dude, so much for watching and submitting your ideas. It's great fun to read through them. Talk. I do look at all of them. So remember, subreddits down below if you want to still submit builds and come up with ones at different times. Comments down below on your ideas for these builds. And please remember to vote. So, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked yourself, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And, of course, when the ground rises to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back and the sun shone warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye. Thank you.